Hello, welcome back to something new. This is Sharon here, and this is my um, Sunday all by myself. Usually I'm here with like um, my daughter or something, but now I'm just here on my own. I don't know if she's a baby, she's a big woman, but usually I'm here with someone. But today is my day alone, and it's so nice to be alone on a Sunday to go within and um, just to give thanks for myself and be thanks, thankful that regardless of all the atrocities, that I'm still here alive, walking strong, and will never and haven't and have never succumbed to the narcissistic abuse. And... Um, it is hard for me to think in my mind that there was a human being who visually watched and didn't say something. So therefore, you know, it's hard for me to, you know, get back to where I am trusting to all people. I'm trusting to everyone right now. It's just that I, I hold everyone at more than a, 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 a 10 foot length like I just I'm like that after this right anyways and you know what you you know as somebody that lives in the light works in the light wants to be in the light you have to understand that these demons come from hell wherever hell could be a palace right and they could come from hell, right? And come all the way down to your shack, right? And want to assault you and take what you have, right? I'm opening my eyes like this because I I don't have my glasses on right now. So in order for me to get like a good vision, otherwise I'd have to squint, right? And I've been squinting all the time, like, uh, you know, and I don't want to give myself any more wrinkles than I have to get. So I decided to open my eyes, but I don't want to open my eyes like this because, you know, that ain't so great, right? When you have to open your eyes like that, it doesn't seem to be okay, you know? But anyway, I have to open up my eyes like in order to see. So this is perhaps the only thing you'll see me faking here. Because when I catch myself, I have to open up my eyes. Otherwise, my vision, I'd have to squint. And once I squint, I'm, I could get lines, right? And after the atrocity that I've been through, right, you would think I would even look worse. Even to myself, I'm surprised sometimes. I'm like, listen, these people really dove in, right? And still. Still, God keeps me, and I always said this for years and on top of years, that God is keeping me for something great. And I just, like, oh, people say, hey, Sharon, how come you look like that? You know, why you look so young and why do you look so good? And I'd be like, I don't know, God's keeping me for something, you know. They'd be like, Sharon, you're young, Young, 30-year-old, you have a lot of kids, right? How do you keep yourself like that? Oh, God is keeping me for something great. And today I can wake up in the today and say, God is keeping me for something great. Whether it's something great when I die or whether it's something great where I can see in my eyes, God is keeping me for something great. You see this? I think this is all narcissist abuse, eh? Because this side's not that bad. So they'll come and they'll do anything to you, anything. If they can mark up your skin, if they can stop your breath, and there wouldn't be an investigation, they would stop your breath. But because they know that they can't just abruptly kill, your, kill you like that, they come in covertly, sticking sticks in your backside, trying to poke holes in your uterus with knives, yeah, these dirty girls, these, I swear to God, the dirty girls, these dirty, filthy girls are, are maggots, right? And not all of them, but the jealous ones. Because you see, when you're a man, 
I suppose you'd have jealous men. Because I can't see myself jealous, I couldn't understand why a man would be jealous of a man. And because I can't see myself being jealous, I can't understand why some woman be jealous of another woman. It kind of cracks me up, kind of like, how retarded do you have to be? And it's not good to say retarded, sorry. How deranged do you have to be to be jealous of somebody else? To sit down in yourself and say, oh my God, look at that. Oh my God. Uh, I Like, it, to me, I'm saying to myself, no, 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 no. Sure. These people, they don't exist. Even though I, I, I'm lying to myself, I still think of myself, Sharon, they don't exist because it's hard for me. It is difficult, my friend. How do you conceive a thought that would make you want to hurt someone because you don't like something? What the heck is going on here? Or what? I mean, I mean, I mean, yeah, so so me now to myself, maybe I say something, I don't mean it in a hurtful manner, but I will say something, but it's I don't hate the person or nothing. I will say something like the truth, right? The truth. And perhaps it, it is offensive to somebody, maybe perhaps, this is how anybody could have any animosity towards me. You understand? Because I don't go out there and push people, but I mean, nowadays, I just simply tell people, like, bug off. When I see them coming sideways, don't even come here. Like, I don't I, I, no nowadays. But before, I'd welcome everybody, you know, with a great smile and a great happiness to see them, right? And 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 I'm sure they would feel my my real and me. I, I I always felt their falseness, but I always put it aside as they are. They have some issues at home, or they have some issues within, right? So even when they came, at, when I when I met them on the street and greeted people with a smile and a hello and happy to see them, and I felt that they weren't genuine i figured that they have issues you understand so i try to look past their issues that so i always listen i'm not I'm, i was just gonna say everybody maybe that i have met i have dealt with them as a patient if you understand what I mean. And I'm not a doctor, but I always dealt with them gingerly, right? Because I noticed that these people carry brokenness. You understand? I, I have met people that are, I have met broken people, right? So, I don't know if it rub off on me or they tried to grab some of my, 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 my empathy, right? Perhaps, but I, 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 I always treated them as a, 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 a patient. So I will say like, this girl that I went to school with, you know, grade seven at grade eight, I'm looking for her. Where's, what's her name? Where's, what's her name? Like, you guys see this girl I met in grade seven. When we get to grade eight, the next year I'm pouncing around the school. I seen her once during the summer and now I'm pouncing around the school looking for her. She's not there. They have this big rumor. Oh, don't you know that girl is a, is a prostitute. I was like, ah, oh, shut up. I would not listen to that. They were like, she's a prostitute. Yeah, da, 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 da. I was like, oh, please. Several years after I had my son, 
and then I met upon this girl again. I was like, do you know? I was looking for you and they told me that you became a this. She said, so what? Ain't nobody business. I was like, okay, okay, all right then. So, but I didn't take that on marker to say, well, she's a dirty girl. And I shouldn't even chat to her. No. Mm -mm. I just feel like, oh, yeah, I try to put that aside as I couldn't relate to her on that manner. So there's nothing she could have told me about that, that I would relate to other than the fact that she was getting, she was being abused. And I could not understand that because I was in an abusive relationship myself. So I always said, try not to deal with the people that know you from these times. Try to be with somebody. Always try to be nice, you know, to people. That was just an example and a true example, right? There's other girls that I've met this girl, I, I know this girl, she said she's molested by her father. She's sleeping with guys, getting them beat up by other guys because she's telling one guy that this guy raped her, one new boyfriend, that the other old boyfriend raped her, and they're getting in fights, beating up people. She's having babies for people telling them it's their kid, and they find out years later that it's not their kid. And I knew somebody like this. Yes. But I didn't, every time I see her every couple of years, I didn't look at her and tell her, you're fucking raw back, bitch. No. I just say to her, you know, hi, how you doing? This, this, this. She could even maybe feel that she nicer than me. Or she could feel that I feel like she nicer than me. She could feel that way. You understand what I mean? Because when you're dealing with broken people, you try to elevate them as much as possible, right? And sometimes you take the the hit of the, the, the conversation or what they say, dumb down, in order to help this person elevate their cheesy ass self. You understand what I mean, right? So I've met broken people and i'm telling you from grade seven and the next one i'm telling you from probably grade nine grade eight grade whatever a next one wasn't in the same school but definitely she rode the short bus the other one that didn't go to grade eight she didn't ride any bus at all do you know when I was younger, there was this little girl, she must have been about 10, 13 years old. She never came to school, ever. She was sleeping with all the old men down in um, the community that I used to live in. She, was, she wasn't black, right? She slept with all the old men and everybody in this grade five, five, four, we knew. Everybody was talking about it, that she'd sleep with the old nasty man, right? But she was big because she was getting fondled, so everything on her was, like, big. And so she, to us, was, like, a, a full-grown woman, Neanderthal, and we were, like, uh, 10, 9, 10 years old. The mother and her went to court, and they said, okay, you don't have to go to school, and from that, that 10-year-old, 11-year-old never went back to school. Yeah, she never went back to school. It was like incredible. So I've known broken people all my time, right? I've um, always tried to treat everyone fairly. It's just now that I could actually look at somebody sideways and say, listen, bug off. You know, or or what is it that you you're looking at? What what's what is it? You know what I mean? And not say I'm angry. I, well, I want to know like what are they looking at? Like what are you looking at? What is the issue? You know. So me, I'm our I was not the person, and I just understand that I was not the person. I mean. 
get away with what you guys want to get away with. But as soon as you guys took what you took, it was done. It's a done thing. You understand? It'd be better my kids did that as to know I wouldn't want or need another one. But a stranger, not to kill my, not even say my kids, because my kids can't come chat to me in any, in any little manner. No, 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 no. But, you know, if they just say, oh, well, you know. But I wouldn't, I, I, mm -mm, no child. But I'd have to know how it got there. If I didn't know how it got there, I wouldn't give a shite. Let me tell you. Let me tell you, street, street. So, if I don't know where it come from, I don't want it. Okay, here, straight up is my eye today. Look at my eyes. See, they're not bloodshot. All right? And they know Vizine about this. I do not want this not every bone or every package or everything that drop in front of me, I attend to. No. It's not my business. Right? Narcissism. The crimes they commit. The assaults, the perpetration of whip wickedness, it all falls back on the narcissist. I claim none of it, right? I only want to be a helpful human being to good people, okay? So take care, have a good day, and cheese.